Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to do a review of the Dell KM717 wireless keyboard and mouse combo with which you get multi-device support which means that you can have multiple devices connected to it at once. Both the keyboard and the mouse come with an easy switch using which you can switch between the different connected devices and build quality and aesthetic wise I think these look quite neat so it will make your desk look really nice. So let's quickly see what we get in the box and then I'll do an in-depth analysis of the keyboard and the mouse. Alright, so in the packaging you get the keyboard, the mouse and then a wireless USB adapter plus some documentation and four Duracell batteries, two for the keyboard and two for the mouse. Now let me show you the different compartments on the keyboard and the mouse where you need to plug in the batteries. So for the mouse, the battery compartment is under here. Uh, so you need to open it from, from the back side. And then this is the place where the batteries are secured. Here again, we have a little flap that you need to open and then you can insert the batteries or remove them. So that's the compartment for the mouse. And for the keyboard, here again we have a similar compartment on the back side so this is a slide and fit mechanism and you can see the two batteries in here one goes inside and then the other one sits over here now let me talk a little bit about the product design so let's start with the keyboard first so look in size wise the keyboard is quite premium uh, if you notice the keys are quite low profile which makes typing pretty effective and the travel is also very low so uh, so you can do fast typing with this quite nicely and then the spacing between the keys is also uh, nice uh, so there's no chance of like misclicking a different key or uh, getting confused between keys because they have a nice spacing over here and uh, layout wise uh, this is a pretty much standard keyboard you've got the function keys on top then you call you've got the alphanumeric and the number keys over here and then the standard page down page up buttons then you've got uh, the arrow keys and the numpad on the right the additional keys that you can see here are these sound control keys and then there are this is the switch for switching between different devices so right now it's on number one which is the usb dongle that's connected and then you can switch between two other bluetooth devices so that's the switch for it and on the back side here you've got the power key and a bluetooth button so so for pairing a particular device you can make use of the bluetooth key uh, you can press and hold it for three to five seconds and then it will go into the pair mode so that was about the keyboard now let's take a look at the mouse so the mouse is also nicely designed it's got a curved structure and on the back side here again we've got the power key then you've got two keys on each side uh, sorry one key on each side so one over here and one over here and then these are the standard left and right click keys and uh, you've got a scroll bar over here and then this additional button lets you switch between the connected devices so here again you have the usb dongle and then two other bluetooth devices all right so now let's connect this setup to to a tablet uh, i'll do a first test with the ipad that's here and then we'll connect it to the desktop now connecting the keyboard and the mouse to your tablet is quite simple because it uses bluetooth connectivity and you simply need to put the device into a pairing mode and then do the necessary steps on your tablet so here you can see that my keyboard and mouse are listed under my devices but they are not connected and that's because the switch is on number one which means that the keyboard is connected to my desktop using the usb dongle and when i switch it to number two you can see that uh, it's now connected to the iPad over here. The same button is also present on the mouse and you can switch it to number two and then 
uh, you'll see that the mouse is connected as well so using the mouse also gives you that freedom and the desktop or laptop like feel uh, so that's a good thing to have and now let's focus on the keyboard which is what most people would be using so let me take off my gloves and we'll do some random text typings on the keyboard so typing with this is pretty effective let me try typing a test sentence here and the keys are making that clicking noise which is quite comforting for the ears and with the mouse you can do certain actions like you can select text and then delete it etc so the mouse gives you that added convenience uh, and overall i think the keyboard layout is quite good so it's quite comfortable to type uh, let me try switching this back to the desktop now and on the ipad you can notice that as soon as i switch to the desktop view uh, the the normal keypad has popped up so um, that's supported on the ipad i'm not sure if that happens on on other tablets as well now let's uh, so what basically i've done here is i've switched to the desktop and now i can do the same typing activity on my desktop as well so after switching to my desktop i can directly start typing here so you can see that with just a flick of a switch you can switch between different devices let me go back to the ipad so i'm back to the ipad and here i can start typing again so this makes it really convenient to use just one keyboard and mouse on your desk and have multiple devices on your desk that are connected to this uh, so overall, I think the, the Dell KM717 is a great multi-device keyboard. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you can post it in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.